Welcome back to Earth, where we're taking a look back through the ages with Age of Empires. Please welcome the co-founder of Forgotten Empires, Bert Beekman. Hey, what's up again, Bert? <laughs> and creative director of Age of Empires, Adam Eisgreen. Hello. I miss, I miss you guys. I, do, I, I miss yeah. you guys. <laughs> we miss you. Oh, man. Uh, okay, so uh, what was the driving force between about releasing the Age of Empires and the Division, Definitive Editions? Um, you know, there's so much love for the Age of Empires franchise, and there has been for so many years, that we felt it was time to really go back and take what was great about those games and move them forward for modern audiences. Yeah, great. Uh, well, so what are some of the key features you can find in Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition, and how does that differ from what's previously been out there? All right. So we, we try to focus a lot of what do the people actually want. Yeah. We actually ask the community, hey, guys, what do you want from Age of Empires 2 DE? And the one thing they always said, like, don't touch the gameplay. Gameplay is great. <laughs> the game is so much fun. Don't, don't touch it. Uh, so we tr what we really tried to do was, like, bring out the gameplay a bit more. Like, try to get rid of the annoying things, make, like, farm receding, make it a bit easier. Uh, having a good idea of, of what's going on in your empire. You don't have to click through all the buildings anymore to see what's going on. Wow. Uh, and on top of that, we also added new content to the game. So we had uh, the original game back in 1999 came with 13 civilizations. And over the years, and, and Justin worked with us on yes. this, uh, we released new expansions. And now with yeah. DE, we even add another expansion back with four new civilizations and three campaigns. And Jeez. if so you we're just play through we're the campaigns, what? what? 35 civs 35 now? civilizations. That's from 13 crazy. 35. Yeah. And how many hours of campaign? If you just play the campaigns <laughs> and you win them all in one go, you have at least 200 hours. I remember wow. having to test all the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Remember, like, you know, all of the new artwork, all the new voice, everything that we've done for the campaigns. It's just been a crazy amount of content that we've updated. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know, and that. That doesn't even talk about you know 4K graphics, completely orchestral soundtrack, right? Uh, modern multiplayer solutions, like all of this stuff that we've added to the game to really make the most definitive edition I think we could make possible uh, for Age of Empires 2. Uh, even to the point where you know like the demo we have here on the floor, we're going to include that in the definitive edition as the E3 floor demo, wow. so people can play that as That's well. So that cool. can get to play yeah. it here. It really is the definitive. Yeah, like yeah. literally. Yeah. <laughs> It is, it is very definitive. Yeah. I, I think one of the things that I like I loved is when we first when I first got to be on the team early on and we made a map of the entire community and it's it's it is worldwide. Yeah. I mean we yeah. still have a <laughs> we still have a few people missing in Antarctica and we're working on that. <laughs> um, but the community plays a very special role when making the definitive editions, like you know, when we talked about flighting for age one yeah. and yeah. all that sort of stuff. Why don't you guys talk about what how the role that they have in H2 DE and you guys have flighting starting soon, oh, right? Yeah, so uh, we have a beta that's actually you can sign up for right now at ageofempires.com. We'll talk a little bit about, more about that. But community is at the heart of everything that we do um, with Age of Empires. And you probably saw uh, y yesterday that not only did we announce, hey, we got Double Find is joining Microsoft, which is awesome, but Age of Empires is now its own studio. And what does that mean for Microsoft? I mean, that's a big deal, right? <laughs> right. Like, we don't, we don't make internal studios very often. And so it's awesome that, you know, Satya, Phil, Matt Booty, everyone really believes in Age of Empires yeah. to like empower us to be our own studio and to work with great partners like Forgotten Empires and Relic and Tantalus to deliver all these amazing Age of Empires experiences. But community is what drives all of that. Yeah. We've, yeah, we've been working closely with the community for over a year now on all the Age of Empires games. Um, to make sure that everything that we put into the game, at its heart, like Bert said, is driven by the community. Okay, and then when you talk about the flighting program and specifically having the community, like what kind of experience can the community have when they're part of the flighting program? Like, you, like what do you tell? Like, how do they work with you? So oh, to speak? well, I mean, you know, we have we have all the usual channels that they can get in touch with us. We have forums where we can get feedback. Uh, we have community councils that we're slowly going to grow over time, where we get uh, really high-end players in to be able to give us direct feedback. Um, we've learned a lot over the years of how we want to deal with, uh, and talk to the community, and it's it's a two-way street. We don't want to be a developer, um, any of us that are working on age games, that just sits there and be like, okay, yeah, we'll listen to you. We, we don't want that at all. We want an interaction with everyone that's part of the Age of Empires community. And like you said, Justin, it's, it's worldwide. It's yeah. crazy. Um, if you divided the globe into quarters, uh, each quarter is a quarter of our audience. Right. Like, there are people, players from all over the world playing age every month. 
And it's super, it's super exciting for us. That's awesome. That's awesome. Now, I think we have a live demo, I think, is, is what we're about to go into. That's what I like to hear. We have a live demo. <laughs> and, and, and you've been brushing up your skills. Like, I've played a couple games with you, and I remember never beating you ever. But like, <laughs> I was, I was going to throw down a little bit, but then that would have just been dumb. So why don't you talk a little bit about what we're going to see? All right. So uh, we have a demo here that has uh, one of the new campaigns, the Tamer Lane campaign. Uh, let's unpause the game, actually, so we can see what's going on. Uh, the first thing you immediately see is uh, 4K graphics. It just looks so much better uh, than, than it used to be before. Uh, we see new architecture sets with new civilizations as well. Uh, and of course, it's 4K. You can zoom in a bit to really see what's going on <laughs> in your game. If you really want to go to that micromanagement level, yeah, but uh, what if you, you can. What if you want to strategize, Bert? What are we going to do there? Uh, Age of Empires is about mi micro and macro, so you also can zoom out quite a bit and have a good view over what's happening in your empire. Is that uh, even as far times. as you can go? Uh, yes, oh, in this case, okay, because yeah. it's a smaller monitor. Oh, right, so. right, right. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to see anything. Yeah, <laughs> All right. I like how Adam's taking over the news, like, hey, no, no, Bert, is this, is this <laughs> what we're going to do? <laughs> <laughs> now, Not that I'm nudging him or anything. I think the thing that's super crazy about this is, like, when you look at this, how old is this? Like. 20 years. It's crazy. It feels like an institution. Like yeah. it's Age yeah. of Empires, everybody knows about it, at yeah. the very yeah. least. It's, and it looks stunning. Yeah. It's 4K and it looks stunning. I, I'm sorry, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> getting goosebumps. That's, That's okay. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> we always wanted to capture, you know, people, when they remember old games in their head, they have a very different vision of what they actually looked like. But with Age of Empires, you know, it's, it's a game that so many people love that we really wanted to make it something that in their mind they're like, oh my god, this looks even better than what I remember, you know. Yeah. And I think that I think the team's been uh, just done a fantastic job. Yeah. In and that must be quite hard, left. right? So like you people have got their rose-colored glasses on, yeah, they yeah. want to remember the experience maybe rather yeah. than the necessary details. And to bring that into like the modern age and give everyone the experience they want, that must be quite a challenge for you. Oh <laughs> yeah, you know it's it's all of the stuff we're gonna show and all the stuff we're gonna talk about, the great thing is is that all of it's toggleable. Um, like the graphics are the graphics. We're not gonna like. There's not old school mode yeah. where you can bid everything up, but all of the improvements and everything that we've done to the game. Because there's been a lot of modernization in the last 20 years in real-time strategy games. Um, all of it's optional. So if people are like super old school and they want to play like 1999 AI and like all of the old ways to play the game, keyboard shortcuts, it's all there. That's amazing. But, but well, we, we, sh it's we should also let Bert show those. Yeah, like, let's like, like, yeah. like, like, you play. I know Adam's super, like, we're all so passionate. <laughs> oh my God, I could talk about this forever. <laughs> so one of the things that we really try to improve is like, give people that overview while they're playing. Sorry, I misclicked here. Uh, as what? you can see here at the, <laughs> at, the, at the top right, you can see a global queue, so you can see Anywhere where you are on the map, you can see, okay, my castle is making Keshiks, my stables are creating stables. You can quickly, you know, jump around wherever you are, from wherever you are. There's no need to go through everything anymore. If you click on the stable as well, you can see like the little progress bar to see how far along it, it is, just to help people, you know, get that overview. Is yeah. that quite a new feature? That it's a new feature. Yeah. It's, it's things that you see in a lot of RTS games, but then you realize, oh, this has never been an Age of Empires yeah, 2. So yeah. Let's right. add it. We need right. it. And those and quality of life things make such a big difference, don't they? Yeah, and that was the stuff that he was alluding to, that like if people want to play the classic way, they can, yeah. right? Yeah. But we want to make it better. You you definitely are like looking to make it better for new players, especially who are new yeah. to the franchise. Yeah, and yeah. you know, speaking of new players, one of the things that we're adding is um, there's a oh, no, tutorial yeah. campaign in the we game, but no on love. top of that, we're really inspired by fighting games and like making a really good uh, way that new people can get into the game and learn about what's great about RTS and Age of Empires. So we now have a series of challenge missions that teach you everything from like, hey, here's how to get a get a boar back to your your town center without murder, getting it, killing all of your villagers, to like, hey, here's how to fast castle, right? Which is a, a medium to high, when you're becoming a better player, it's things that you want to learn to actually really understand Age of Empires. And they're all applicable to actually playing multiplayer and the campaigns. Got it. And then at the very end of it, do you fight Bert as an AI and then Viper? <laughs> it's going to be Bert or it's going to be Will on our team. Right? <laughs> like, it's going to be one of the two because those two, or I don't know, the Viper. I mean, there's tons. Well, yeah. It's good that you mentioned the AI because we actually put a lot of work and effort in the AI. And the AI is so much better now. If you only played back in 1999, uh, the AI was... First of all, it cheated. Oh. It, wasn't, it wasn't all that good. It cheated. Uh, I knew it! Yeah. 
But, but ever since AG came out, and now definitely with DE, we improved the AI so much. If you just put one of the new AIs against seven of the old AIs, it just wipes the floor with it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's oh, man. So, and, so and think of it, the, and the, the new AI is not cheating, oh, right? Yeah. The old <laughs> AIs are cheating like crazy, and the new one can still beat it. Okay. Yeah. You're doubling down on that really hard, so now I'm like, you know, a bit suspicious. Like, oh, <laughs> I still won't believe it. They beat me, they're cheating either way. I lost, therefore it's yeah. cheating. Yeah, <laughs> got it. Possible well, it's the really nice thing about the AI there is that it now uses tactics that professional players actually oh, use in tournaments. No, stop it. Take it back. I don't it's want it. <laughs> <laughs> well, the good thing is you can still put the lower level uh, oh. in there if you want. So Excellent. you can have yeah. a relaxing game, build your town, try to be the enemy. That's fine. Or it's go against the, the still there. best players if you want to as yeah. well. If you, right. yeah. if you want to, it's there. If you want to, it's there. Yep. It, uh, yeah. They have the Roby one that you can select for beginner level. So like which yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We'll just call it Roby <laughs> instead of Easy AI. Well, it's below Easy. Uh, it's like Easy, very easy. It's just like Roby. there's no AI. It's just you. <laughs> and that. Like I, I don't know. They didn't show up. <laughs> okay, Bert. What are we seeing now, man? All right. So it, it's really is all about making it a tiny bit easier. So one of the things that people always have when playing Age of Empires is that finding that balance between managing your empire or economy on one hand and then fighting on the other hand. And one thing that happens to everybody is their farms expire while they're out fighting. Oh, I know what it's, you're about yeah, to say. Yeah, oh. exactly. <laughs> so right now we have an automatic farm queue. You just <sighs> click it, you go out for fighting and your villagers will be like, okay, I have enough resources to keep on farming, I will keep on farming. And you don't have to bother about it ever. I think the thing is, is like there are people who are watching right now are like, wow, that's that seems like kind of like normal. But then yeah, like yeah. for those yeah, of like us who have been playing Age, you're like, oh, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, another uh, little improvement that's in every modern RTS game, but not in Age of Empires, is uh, command queues. So basically, yeah. we're now oh, going yeah. to tell these guys, build two stables and then go and get some gold. Wow. Wow. So less babysitting for villagers and more, more action. Yeah, more, yeah. more getting into the play, right? Yeah. Yeah, getting yeah. into the fun, having fun, fighting, you know. You're like, my economy's good. I don't need to worry about this He just anymore. showed something that I remember you were very, very oh, keen yes. on. Oh, yes. No, so... Um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm an old school, you know, I'm an old school RTS guy. Um, I worked on the Command and Conquer games at Westwood Studios back in the day, and one of the things I loved that we put into the later Command and Conquer games was right-click uh, drag scrolling, so that you could scroll without actually having to use the keys. Oh yeah. And so you can kind of accelerate around the map now. Um, it's one of those things that I actually demanded. Like I have very few <laughs> demands on the teams, but I was like, you will put this in. <laughs> like yeah. you will put this into the game. I am tired of using arrow keys and moving my hands around while I'm playing. So we need to see some of that famous Burt micro. So are we gonna see that? Are we gonna see some conflict? Because uh, I mean we wanna we wanna amp this segment up uh, to okay. eleven. All right, all right, well, let's, let's go do that. something. Let's see all right. Uh, all right, I'm gonna select <laughs> my army here. Uh, actually a little uh, other update. I'm now selecting my army, my picks, my villagers, but the game is now smart enough to see like, oh, you don't want to take your picks to the fight. Oh, <laughs> that's so, huge. <laughs> that's one of those little things to Same make it a bit easier. But again, if people want to take their picks to the fight, they can do that they too. Can they can still do it. Totally cool. ideas. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> they really want to play that picks. way. Hey, you left Wololo down there. Uh, yeah, he slows everything uh, down. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's, he's really kind of slow. <laughs> By the way, I heard, Adam, they used your voice for the Wololos. You want to pull that out? Oh, I did not. Okay. They did not use my voice for the <laughs> okay. Wololo, but I can do one if you want me to. Please do. You want me to do that right now? Yeah, while we're fighting. Wololo! Oh, <laughs> so good, so good. <laughs> All right. I'm going to attack here. There's a catapult in the back, so I need to get to that as soon as possible. Uh, but one thing that we really try to keep in Age of Empires is the fighting. Everybody just loves the fighting. It's the same good old rock, paper, scissors system. We updated the balance a tiny bit, of course. Uh, and we have the new Sith with new uh, abilities. But other than that, it's good old Age of Empires. Oh, man. It's quite fun so just watching good. the mess, isn't it? Like, it's like, okay, that guy's... <laughs> dead. No, he's not dead. Okay, great. Uh. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, anyway... Bert, Adam, I, I want to say thank you so much. If you'd like to build an empire of your own, head to ageofempires.com to learn more um, as well. Well, I think it's time to swivel over to Tara at the Techni booth. So take it away, Tara. <laughs>